Fitness professionals who are younger than middle age often get told, hey, you know, it's impressive what you can do now, but you won't be able to do that when you're older. Fitness professionals past middle age often get the opposite. It's like, C -c can you really do that at your age? Isn't it harmful? Listen, of course, there's always risks, but regular physical activity is something that our bodies evolved to be able to handle. Yes, obviously there are issues with getting older, with things breaking down. The problem is in the modern era, when a lot of us are sedentary, it's very hard to disentangle what's happening because of mere number of years and what's happening because of disuse. Not doing anything will tend to make various systems in the body decompensate and not work as well the next time you try to do something with them. So there's a sense in which regular physical activity has an age delaying effect. I got some pretty direct evidence of this during the first year and a half of the pandemic. Like a lot of people, I was sent home from work. I worked remotely. And on top of that, I moved my elderly father in with me during the last 15 months of his life. And it's not that I stopped working out. I still lifted weights regularly. And I still went on all the bike rides that I often go on. And bike rides are fantastic for my physical condition in general. They're one of the things that helped me spare my knees over the years. But when lockdowns eased up and people started going outside more often and we all started walking again, I discovered that my capabilities had fallen off just because of the one thing that I hadn't been doing that I now was doing more of again. That's one reason I'm out here recording these videos while walking is I realized, yeah, okay, the specific adaptations that my body undergoes for weightlifting, great. The specific adaptations that my body undergoes for biking, great. But everything isn't affected in the same way by the same activities and different activities bring out different capabilities. It's actually better not to take too many long breaks unless you're actively recovering from injury or unless you're avoiding, you know, uh, a health issue that's affecting millions of people worldwide. Now that I've been back walking regularly for a year or more, my mileage is going up and my knee takes a lot longer to feel the effects. You'll sometimes notice that I've got a bit of a limp in these videos. That's probably never gonna go away, but it triggers a lot slower than it used to. So I went from being able to walk around at work from building to building or within my building to much more sedentary, just walking up and down stairs to the kitchen and then had to come back. And each one of those things was its own phase, but it's not strictly about age except in the sense that because I lived through those two or three years, I'm older than I started. In general, I'm in far better condition for any kind of activity than I was 12 years ago at age 48 when that knee started bothering me for the first time. So yeah, I have to be careful. I have to not injure myself. And sometimes I have, but it's not the case that mere exercise will automatically make you age or degrade faster. Very often it's helping you recover from inactivity that you've already put yourself through, not meaning to, and building up your capabilities, or at least slowing down the, on, the onset of decrepitude.